this. A solid metal cuboid of length 11 centimeters, breadth 4 centimeters, and height 3 centimeters is melted to form another solid consisting of a cone and a cylinder joined together as shown in the diagram below. So we have the diagram there, you can see. Now, the height of the cone is four times that of the cylinder, and radius is three centimeters. Assuming that no material was lost, calculate A, the height of the cone, B, correct to two decimal places, the volume of the cylinder, and then C, the total surface area of the new solid form. Take pi to... I told in the question that a solid metal cuboid, okay, of length 11 centimeters, breadth 4 centimeters, and height 3 centimeters was melted to form another solid consisting of what? A cone and a cylinder joined together. Okay, so we have a cone and then a cylinder. They are saying that the height of the cone is four times that of the height of the cylinder. Okay, now assuming no material was lost, this means that the volume of the cuboid, okay, when melted, was used to form the cone and the cylinder joined together. So if we are able to find the volume of what? This cuboid, okay? And we know the volume of a cuboid is L times V times H. So the volume. So volume of cuboid. So the first thing we are going to find is the find of the volume of what? A cuboid. So volume of cuboid, we shall have L times V times H, okay? So LBH. So this is going to give us the length is 11 centimeters times the breadth is 4 centimeters times the height is 3 centimeters. So we shall have 11 times 4 times 3, 3, 4, 12, 12, 11, we shall have 132. So we have 132 centimeters. So we have the volume of the cuboid to be 132 centimeters cube. Now we are also going to find the volume of the cone. Now volume of cone, the volume of cone is given to us by one third pi r squared h. So one third times our pi is 22 over 7, which was given in the question. And then our radius for the cone is 3. So we have 3 squared times the height is what? 4x. Okay. So this is going to give us 3 will cancel one of these 3. So we are left with 3. 3 times 22 is 66. And 66 times 4. So we have 66 times 4 giving us so we have 264x over 7. Okay, so this is being this is going to give us the volume of the cone. Okay, and then we find the volume of the cylinder. Volume of cylinder, volume of cylinder, and we know how to find the volume of a cylinder. We learned earlier on. So the volume of a cylinder is going to give us the area of the cross section times the height. And the area of this cross section is the area of this circle, which is pi r squared multiplied by the height h. So this has the same radius as this. So this is also 3 centimeters. So we shall have the volume of cylinder to be equal to uh, pi r squared h. So we have 22 over 7 times. So let me first write the formula pi r squared h. Okay? So pi is 22 over 7 times the radius is 3. So we have 3 squared times we have the height to be x. So this is going to give us 339, 9 times 22. 9 times 22 is going to give us 198 over 7x. Okay? So this is in centimeters cube. Okay, remember this is in centimeters cube. This is also in centimeters cube because it's volume. So what we are saying that what we are saying is because no material was lost because no material was lost, the area of the volume of the cone plus the volume of the cylinder is equal to the volume of what? The cuboid. Okay? So because, right, because no material was lost, we could say that the volume of cuboid is equal to the volume of the cone plus the volume of cylinder okay so the volume of the cuboid was given to us by 132 centimeter cube 
equal to the volume of cone is also 264x over 7 and then plus the volume of the cylinder is 198 over 7 okay 198x over 7 so let's solve for x okay let's solve for x so i think we can multiply 2 by 7 so 7 times 132 924 is equal to we have 264x plus 198x. So we have 924 is equal to 264 plus 198 will give us. So we have 462x. So if we want x, we divide here by 462 and here by 462. So this is going to give us x is equal to 2 centimeters. So this means that the height of the cone now becomes what four times two which is eight and then the height of the cylinder now becomes what two because our x is equal to two so since x is equal to two i'm going to draw a new diagram here we have the height to be two centimeters the height of the cone this should be three centimeters for the radius and then four centimeters okay so if we want to find the volume, so the first thing we are asked to find is to find the, the height of the cone. So therefore, I, the height of the cone, the height of the cone will be equal to what? The height of the cone will be 4 times 2, so 4 times 2 centimeters, which will be equal to 8 centimeters. This will be the height of the cone. And the second part is you should find the volume of the cylinder volume of cylinder so our volume of cylinder will be equal to so i told you the volume is what the area of the cross section times the height so the area of this circle times the height okay and what's the area of a circle is pi r squared so we have pi r square h pi r square h so our pi is 22 over 7 times our radius our radius is equal to this, which is what? 3 centimeters, okay? So we have 3 centimeters, so we have 3 squared times the height. And the height of this cylinder is given as x, which is equal to 2, so times 2. So this is going to give us um, 9 times 2 times 22 over 7, which is going to give us... So in the third part, we were asked to find the total surface area of, a, of the new solid form. Okay, and that will be the curved surface area of the cone added to what the total surface area of what the cylinder. So we are going to do that now, and I'm going to clean the board to solve that. The total surface area, we are going to find the curved surface area of the cone, curved surface area of cone, which will be equal to pi RL. Okay. So the curved surface area of a cone is pi r, which will give us 22 over 7 times the radius, which is 3, times the L, which is what? Our L is what we have to find. We don't know the value for L. So for us to get the slant height L, we can use, because this is a Pythagoras theorem, because this is a right angle triangle, because we have a right angle triangle here, with base 3 centimeters, and height 8 centimeters. We can use Pythagoras theorem to get the length L. Okay? So we are saying under uh, Pythagoras theorem, the square of the adjacent or the square of the opposite is equal to the square of what? The hypotenuse. When you add them, you get the square of the hypotenuse. So we can say L squared is equal to 3 squared plus 8 squared. So L squared will be equal to 9 plus 64. R squared will be equal to 9 plus 64 will give us um, 73. 73. So L will be equal to the square root of 73. So knowing that our L is equal to square root of 73, we shall have the curved surface area of the cone to be equal to 22 over 7 times 3 times the slant height L, which is square root of 73. So this is going to give us 22 over 7 times 3 times square root of 73.
We have the cap surface area of the cone to be 80.557 centimeters squared because we are dealing with area. Okay? Then we go and find the area of the cylinder, the total surface area of the cylinder. Total surface area of cylinder. So this will be equal to, we are going to assume that this end has already been calculated. So it's left with this end, okay, which will be pi r squared plus the curve surface area, which is 2 pi r h. 2 pi r h. So we have 22 over 7 times the radius, we have 3. So 3 squared plus 2 times 22 over 7 times the radius is still 3 times the height, which is what? 2 centimeters. So this is going to give us um, 22 over 7 plus 9, 8.21 gram. 28.29 plus. So this is going to give us 66 centimeters squared. So this is going to give us the total surface area of the cylinder. So if we want the total surface area of the new solid form, so total surface area of new solid form, this will be equal to the curved surface area of the cone plus what? The total surface area of the cylinder. So we shall have the curved surface area of the cone is 80.57. 80.557 plus 80.557 plus 66 centimeters squared. So this is going to give us 146.56. This is going to give us 146.56 centimeters squared. So this is going to this is going to give us the Total surface area of the new solid form, which is the curved surface area of the cone plus the surface area of the cylinder joined together. So this is going to give us the total surface area of the new solid form.